Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Scott, back at again. Remember, take your ring or whatever you have off, um, any hand jewelry, including watches, you play better without it. Today, we're going over the song Whiskey and Rain by Michael Ray. I think that's his name. Positive, actually. He's one of my... I love his song. I want you to put your capo on the first fret, okay? Capo on the first. And before you play, um, I want you to check your capo sound, because sometimes there will be a weird ringing in it. Like that, you hear that? So I always want you to check your capo sound. Because there could always be that little ring. Now it's gone. Okay, here's how you play the song. I'm not good at editing, so please learn to deal. So, so, ready? It's A minor. Okay, A minor which is, um, it's basically an E minor, or an E chord, but you just move it down by one, so, yeah, it's just E, but you move every finger down by one, so that's it. Okay, so, so here's how you play the song, it's A minor to G to E minor to C. But, if you can't switch your C chord that fast, you can play an improvised G chord. But it's not actually a G chord, I forget what it's called, but it's basically a G chord except you move your fingers down by one and move your ring finger up by one. So it sounds like this. Okay, so here's a regular G chord. Here's this chord that I made up, or maybe it's not made up and I just don't know the name. I think it's a very nice sounding chord. Okay, so, here's how you play. A minor, and the strumming pattern is just up and down the entire song. So it's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. On the eight, you switch it, okay? Okay, that's literally the entire song that I just played right there. So, A minor, let's go. How you count that is you go one and, two and, three and, four and, five and, six and, seven and, eight and, switch. Okay, so. Made up chord. Back to A minor. E G G. Dang it, G. E minor. That's the entire song. Now, you can play with C. So, instead of the made-up chord, which is this, uh, index finger on the fifth string, which is sounds like this, and then middle finger on this string, which is just above it on the third fret. And this is counting with capo, but it, if we didn't have a capo, it would be, like, you know. So, right? So... Second finger, so ring, brick, so, uh, you know, index finger on the fourth string of the second fret with capo on, middle finger on the fifth string 
of the third fret with capo on, ring finger on the second string with capo on, okay? Or you can play with C, and if you don't know how to play C, I can't explain it because I'm not good at this. How do I play this again? Yeah, I'm thinking of F. That's F minor, here's regular. Here's C. Okay. So, if you don't understand the song, replay the video. Because I try going slow for um, slower learners. That's not saying you have mental, I'm just saying that you don't pick up as fast. Like me, I don't pick up as fast. So I try explaining it to, you know, help you out. But, I, yeah. So, ready? A minor, okay? One more time. Two G. To the made-up chord. Wait, no, to E minor. To the made up chord. Then repeat. And that is the entire song. And if you play it with music, it sounds just on the dot. I play it for like everyone to ask, like, what songs can I play the best? I'm like that. And if I really wanted to. Time Marches On, but in order to do Time Marches On, let's just do a demo of Time Marches On for you real quick in this video. The next song I might play it, but for Time Marches On, it needs to be full on bass. So like, I have to create a custom setting on my amp for that, because, listen. Here's how you play Time Marches On. You put the capo on the third, and it's... So that never worked. That's what they all said to put the capo on the third. But what I found out is you want as bass as possible. So what I do is I literally turn down low and mid and turn on low. I turn up low and I turn down mid all the way and high all the way. And then I switch over to a bass setting, which I made myself, which is just this. And let me make it real quick. So all I need to do, amplifier super clean. Super clean, click. Um, Baseman, there. And. Ready? That does not sound good. One more time. Here, let's try it like this. This should be better. the song and it's really basic because um you don't have bass then it doesn't sound right yeah the song is really bassy it's because it's not bassy bassy like it's not like you know like a bass guitar like this but like I can change this into a bass guitar. But you understand it, and I'll put it in the next video. Will be time marches on. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um. Yep. Yeah. And I've been putting in this in the description. Listen, if you don't like my videos because they're too slow, there's hundreds of guitar videos out there. Okay. I don't care. This is made for learners that don't pick up as fast. That is why my guitar videos go slower and they are longer. Because they're not made for fast learners. They're made for slow learners. Okay? And if you think I'm going too fast, then please leave a comment and I'll go even slower. But that's what they're made for. I don't care. You could be the most experienced guitar learner. 
like the fastest learner in the world to watch my videos and be like, you're going too slow. That's not my fault. That's your fault for picking my videos. There's hundreds. Don't get me wrong. I love that if you pick my videos, but it's not made for some people. These are made for guitar learners that are just starting or are slow and, you know, can't learn as fast. So, like, for certain riffs, like, um, you know, Seven Nation Art. I went real slow on teaching that. Instead of going, like, 12, 12, 50, 12, 50, 10, 8, 7. No. I went, okay, it goes 12, 12, 15, 12, 10, Eight, seven, and I tried my best. So if you don't like my videos, there's hundreds out there. Go find one. I'm not complaining. If you love my videos, tell me. I would greatly appreciate it. My videos aren't made for everyone. That's just how it works. Thank you guys. Goodbye.